The late 60s were politically and socially volatile times in Europe and the United States. Dissatisfaction with the Vietnam War, societal values, and political structures was building, particularly in the universities. What exactly the situation has had to do with May 68? It's never been completely clear. It's never been very well understood. Um, May 68 was kicked off by demonstrations, protests, denunciations, outrageous behavior at the um, campus of the University of Paris in Nanterre, Paris suburb. And the people who kicked this off named themselves the Enragés. They were situations followers. They were fans. They were trying to put the situation's critique, which excited them, into practice. And people began, as the situationists had fantasized and called for for years, they began to stand up and talk. They occupied their factories, they occupied their schools, they occupied their theaters, they occupied their offices, and they began to talk in small groups or large groups, one person to another. And it was a tremendous discovery of talk. It was a month of noise, and it was lucid noise. Um, the slogans that covered Paris, that spread all across France, and over the next 10, 20 years have spread all across the world, were mostly situationist slogans. They were either copied out of situationist tracts, or they were put up by the situationists themselves. situations was that no matter how long some of their essays, no matter how serious many of their tracts were, they always believed that a good critique ought to be able to be boiled down to a single slogan, to a single new caption, new speech balloon stuck on an old comic strip. It ought to be comprehensible immediately to anybody. And that's what happened in May. You can't say the situationists started May 68. You can't say they governed May 68. I think you can say this. Had there never been a situationist international, there never would have been a May 68.